Okay, welcome back to the Labyrinth of Lies walkthrough. Uh, now, we are in the palace dungeon. We've just found uh, Saruman's loot that he was planning to take with him to leave this horrible place. And he's mentioned to us that the Grand Staircase is the only way up, and uh, we need one of Mithrandir's keys um, down in the mines. Okay. <clears throat> now I've fallen down uh, here, I've grabbed uh, Saruman's loot and stuff, and we now back here. We picked up a, a palace armory key back in a room. This room. Um, we should probably go to the palace armory. Just saying. And the palace armory is this way. Armory. And yes, I'm in Australia, so Armory is spelt with a U, and uh, all my armor references are U. Okay, now uh, we've got a bunch of stuff, um, a fair bunch of stuff. We can start off by having a look. We've got an anointed mace in case we left ours behind and feel like we need another one. Long sword in case we need one. <coughs> we have a scroll. Now the scroll, belt ritual of defensive stances. Okay, uh, so this is a belt ritual checks on armor skill and dodge skill for uh, different fighters and rogues. It also makes some other checks which aren't mentioned. Um, but we can chuck them there. Uh, yep, they're my belt rituals. We've got three belt rituals now. And a belt in case we didn't pick one up. A belt grimoire. Alright, sort of necks. Skill, uh, Swords 22, Power 24, Speed 13, so a fair bit more powerful, um, but I mean, the, our Tempered Sword was, was Power 24 as well, you remember. <coughs> so this has got a bit of extra um, accuracy. Halberd um, is there. A Manual of Conditioning Impact. Chuck all that stuff over. Armors, I get plus two. So if we go to 18, uh, one more point will give us health. Um, not that we're really going that way, but... Throwing axe. And some quarrels. Battle stave, in case we need one. Plate curious. We can swap that right in. And uh, nothing there, apparently, anymore. <laughs> I really don't remember <laughs> what I uh, what I had there to begin with. Okay, and a bunch of stuff. Okay, so these are some weapons. So I've got another halberd, leather boots in case we need them. Plate gauntlets we can wear straight away. <clears throat> and we've got some chitin gloves we can give to... Do we want them here? Um, I reckon we can... Take a hit to energy to increase our protection. Now, uh, I'm pretty sure that we might. Uh, 38 in spellcraft. Okay. Spellcraft. <coughs> Silco's doublet. Now, um, this is uh, actually a, a, a good uh, chance for us to get yeah, those... Um, these two items, uh, silk hose and double it, we can 28 and um, what else do we need for these ones? We can uh, reforge these ones. Aha! Leggings are flame proof. Okay. Plus 4, resistant fire, 15. Okay, so it really helps us out. <coughs> we can probably uh, palm them off here actually, considering He's only wearing no leather grades. 
probably weighs a bit less as well. It truly does. Okay, and pit fighter guards in case we miss them and you have want an unarmed combat weapon uh, or hammer. So basically it's just a chest just to make sure we're, we haven't missed. Uh, just kind of to raise the um, the average uh, number of, well, what items you might have here. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say. <coughs> okay. Uh, it might be also now a good chance for... Uh, we can use that and level up some of our guys. Now, uh, five points. Four going into assassination straight away, and then we go daggers with the other point. Uh, that allows us to use tainted dagger. <coughs> Attack power 14, accuracy 10, speed 20. Speed 20, accuracy 15, attack power 20. So attack power and accuracy a massive increase. This, however, is cold damage. Okay, so we do want to keep this around just in case. <coughs> and our Venom Edge, uh, that's going to turn into a poison damage dagger once we spent it. Um, okay, now... Right. Um, athletics, and then we have that. Axes, is there something we can't use yet? Yes, there is. Okay. <coughs> athletics, eight. Attack power 16, speed 11, evasion 10. Attack power 24, speed 15. So, very, very uh, comparable. Um, evasion plus 10, evasion 7. So, less evasion, but more fast, uh, for faster. Plus a strength and dexterity bonus. Um, that's massive. Right, so the feathered talons are quite good. But uh, if you're a Minotaur... <coughs> be the way to go. Alright, and we've got points to spend here. Now, I don't really need to go back this way, so I can just do this on the run. So, Sword of Nex, um, I'm not gonna bother with the Sword of Nex. Uh, unfortunately, I'm just, it's just dead weight. I'm gonna put it down. Maybe drop it the... Throw it down there. If we really miss it, we can come back and grab it. <coughs> Now, points-wise, we've got 10 points. Uh, the level gain and that book. Leave that for now. Swords. I have a feeling we might need some more skill in swords, especially to wield these ones. Um, as we don't need to bother with, although one point would be nice. Okay, fire magic and spellcraft. Earth magic. Alright, tell you what. Four, two, two, eight. Wow, okay. Done. And from there, whipping rocks. Okay, so, Whipping Rocks, uh, just like our blades, except they're bigger and more rockier and less bladey. <coughs> now, we want to check out um, the Whipping Rocks there. We have an upgrade, Fire Magic 30. Uh, so, we could have had the upgrade actually already, uh, if I um, planned to do that, instead of just putting points willy nilly. Shoots Flaming Rocks, damage physical, and they also Fire Burst on hit. So you, you've got that extra um, damage there. 
<clears throat> okay. Uh, now, I think we could have... No, but I have a feeling... Right. Chroma morphed a pickaxe to create the uncursed reaper axe. And here we have reaper axe. Reaper axe, um, axe is 24. Damn. <laughs> Attack power 24, accuracy, speed 11, strength neg 1, resist poison, okay, but it's got life leech. Um, and this is in fact, uh, I don't know if it's the Assassin's Dagger, renamed an icon, I'm not quite sure exactly, but it has life leech. And a few items in this game do. So we can aim to spend our points more wisely in future and uh, get some of these things going. Okay, um, and points, of course. Staff defense. Let's put four. Ice magic. Air magic. 32. Name is again. Resist shock 25. Oh, that's pretty good. That is really good. Um, 24. Improved frost bolt. Okay, let's go there. And go there. Because then we can use spell fire stave instead of battle stave. We can ditch that one. <clears throat> oh, gee, dear and fluffy lord. Oh, man, I am so sorry. Uh, here we go. This one, did we? Hey, here we go. Vesta flame proof. Okay, so if we trans, uh, we reforge the doublet, we can make a Vesta flame proof. Protection plus six. Fire magic. Oh, resist fire plus thirty. This is a massive, massive fire resist bonus. Um, very, very critical. Actually, probably could have used that uh, recently uh, with those um, that fight <coughs> against the laser guardians. But oh well. And what have we got? Protection plus four. So let's, hey, let's make this guy just <laughs> immune to fire, right? Bang, 72 resist fire. Okay, and we don't need that junk. Throw that away. Okay. Now, <coughs> the pit maze. We're going to fall down here. Save it first. But we're going to fall down, get teleported by stepping right. And then we move forward once we're teleported, turn and press a button and we'll be teleported back up here. And that's gonna happen very quickly. So bang. Right. Did you see that? Do that. That's the first thing you want to do. Well you can do it anywhere along the way, but um you can do that first up. Okay. Let's fall back down. Right. Finding out guys with these new weapons can really deal out a lot of damage, especially with things like haste and um, single monsters alone. You know they shouldn't they shouldn't be worrying you too much, um, even in close quarters with a freeze.
Radio, head back up the stairs. <clears throat> Lever. It's going to open an area just here. That lever is going to open something up just above us. Just go back this way. Okay, it closes those pits. Sleep up very quickly. Secret button here. Secret button here. And that opens this door, the other one will open that door. We've got ourselves another slime. One rock here, and we open this up. That was silly. We have a round key. <coughs> Need those for this pit maze. And uh, now, here is a, a somewhat of a. We have a teleporter. Teleports very quickly. Now, we can't get to that in time. However, we can throw a rock through it. So if we go. And 
there's a teleporter down there and one here. Okay. So, uh, I tell you what. <clears throat> what we do is we throw the rock down at that teleporter there. Now we come back through here, ditch a rock through there to get to that teleporter, which will then uh, open something, and we get teleported out of this area, but we can come back to this area for the secret that we open up. So... Oh, oh yes, that's right. Now, cooldown times aren't quick enough, so we're going to throw one rock each. Uh, except we throw them at the pole. That's, um... Nope. Too late. <clears throat> Let's try again. Oh, we did access it. Um, seems to be something coming up in the console there. Okay, let's. Far out, bloody hell. Nope. <laughs> really am too late. Uh, okay. I am experiencing some um, some slow in frame rate here, which is um, a bit unfortunate. Right, uh, got it that time. So, um, let's get rid of the console business. Now we have a key, if you remember. Uh, we can we can use that key. Uh, let's just jump down, back down. <laughs> Secret we open by throwing that rock down at the teleporter. <clears throat> Alright, Razor Claws. X Insectoid Affinity, Insectoids gain strength plus one and the Thunderstruck trait. So this gives them the light, you know, lightning speed. Um, strength and dexterity plus one, evasion aid, speed 15. So pretty good um, unarmed weapon, especially for the Insectoids. They, um, they really, really luck out with that. No, um, <clears throat> actually, is this uh, speed 15, evasion 8, speed 11, evasion 10, accuracy 5. Okay, I'm going to ditch the rampage shield because we don't really need that. And that'll keep the weight off him. Full helm. Now, uh, protection plus 12, protection plus 12, plus all the other stuff. So, let's get rid of that. Although a chroma could use it, I am still. Strength and willpower is really good. The aura trait uh, is going to become useful soon. Um, <clears throat> leave her with that. Shuriken. Hand to hand arts. So, unarmed combat 3 and evasion plus 2. So, that's a, uh, that's a good one. Back up to, up to 31. Right. Let's ditch that. And. Yeah. <clears throat> now with the 
use of one of our keys. I don't think there's a right or wrong door. We have one key and we'll have two locks. I'm pretty sure you can do it either way. Uh, in fact, I'm definitely sure that you can. Okay. Teleported back here. Let's go invisible. Oh, teleported back out again. It's a few teleporter, um, sort of circuit things. Where the hell are we? Oh, right. Uh, wrong. Just get teleported again. Alright, just try that. Again. Alrighty. Mushroom. Really start using those for rage. Another key. That's what we want. Now. Alcove here. Out of nowhere. This is a little, uh, secret there's not a clue for, but, um, I wouldn't put it past you not to try to put gems into alcoves you find nothing in. And so we have a bag of stuff, which is just what we need. Stuff is good. gem with us. Now we want to press that lever, or pull the lever rather. Just open that. Now we do have another key. Um, we can then just actually get teleported by this. Right here.
I'm noticing um, some of these ones are not getting XP rewarded for that. Um, and I think I know why. Let me just write that down. Okay, alright. More polishing. <coughs> Press this button. It's going to open that wall over there. Now, um, <clears throat> I think we're just going to get taken back. Ooh, what the hell is this? Here. Good. Yeah, okay, cool. So we're on the other side of that door. Um, back over there. That's fine. We can actually just get teleported back upstairs using this instead of using that stupid stone trick. Can't be that long since I've played this, surely. Uh, and, oh, we didn't need to go that way. Oh, here we go. Yep. And we go in here. Secret button. Okay. Now, um, that's going to open something downstairs for us. Actually, to tell you the truth, it's going to close those access to this area. Pull this lever, it's going to open the door that is, um, that bends us around to this area we've already been to. <coughs> okay. Now. One slide down. Invisible. Okay, chest in there we can't get to yet. Teleporter room, and I can worry about just yet. <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me. And another rock as a clue. Oh, hey, how about. of rocks, which are not many. I'll tell you what. Throwing weapons. Use that as well. Now. Alright. 
Now, this is a, um, a timed rock throwing puzzle as well. We have a teleporter that comes up there. If we throw a rock through, it's going to open a gate here. There's also going to be a teleporter beyond there, and if we throw a rock through that, that's going to open another gate down, um, down further. And we're going to need to try and reach that. But there's going to be a slime in our way, um, because, you know, I'm not a nice guy. sword. So we've killed that slime that's blocking our way, uh, even if we were thinking of making a first attempt. Um, give me that back. Radio. So here's how we do it. issues with rocks. I'm not quite sure. I'll have to take a look at that later. Right. So it's opened up this. This takes us back out into the other rock teleporter area that we've seen before. Okay. Now there's a number of secrets off here. <coughs> So, if we press this, that will open. We can put this there. Uh, we can put a rock there if we're quick enough. Um, then a bunch of other things open here. There's a teleporter there. This will open and close very quickly. There's also a, um, a passage back out this way using uh, these other teleporters that we don't want to step into, but will lead us back to that chest. Now, um, I think I'll do the chest first. Fun. Okay. We don't want to go through the teleporters. Okay, and we're just out on that timing. Oh, 
timing. Alright, let's do something else first. Okay, we stand here, click, click, click. We pull that lever, and that will take us back here. Now, that will then close that pit. We can step on, press that, and we have a door opening here. And this will give us Manual of Merciless Murder. Okay, assassination daggers and throwing weapons all bonused uh, with this Need Assassination 10. So we can learn that up and um, quite the bonus there. Okay, and we've also got an Assassin's Dagger. Okay, Assassin Equipment, Life Leech, um, <clears throat> Power 15, Accuracy 10, Speed 19. Speed's good. Uh, it's got Life Leech, which is what uh, we're really, really looking for. We can use that. Kane is just so useful. Invisibility and blades on tap is um, very, very powerful. Okay. Um... Also, uh, we've by pressing that button, we've closed this, which gives us access to some fire quarrels. And I don't really think we want to bother keeping them. All right. Closed. We need to do this again. Too keen on the timing, too keen on the timing. Alright, where the hell are we? Right, back here. Taking back to the start of the puzzle again. Oh, too keen again. Okay. Sorry, folks. How nice of me. I'm taking back to the... Start of the puzzle. There we go. So, very, very quick timing there. <coughs> okay. Emerald Gem. Keep that. Thanks for coming. Scroll of Prismic Assault. So, that is a staff defense spell. Can't learn it yet. So third level, detect secrets, prismic assault. Okay. Um, blood crushing manual. Gain maces plus three. Storm hammer. Okay. Um, this will actually do uh, shock bursts uh, in front of the party when it is swung. Uh, much like the feathered talons will create a poison cloud. Dexterity neg one though. Uh, resist shock plus ten. So it's a good one. Uh, pity we're not uh, using maces. That's a very good mace. Okay. Now. Now I think, if memory serves, and I hope it does, that we can get teleported around in here somewhere. 
I have a feeling it's up that way. Let me um, let me just save and double check because um, I don't want to get teleported anywhere too far away. Aha, good stuff. Okay, um, we've got milk reed in the drain. How sneaky! Press that. Milk reed out here too. This is an area that we could have seen before. Uh, we've passed through here. that we've already thrown. This is a place where um, rocks are teleported and press plates and activates. So, you know, this is some of the workings of the puzzle. Now, uh, there's a button on the door here and it's gonna uh, come uh, open stone uh, walls from numerous directions. Okay, first of those numerous directions are here. Spellbook of Elemental Magics. And this will give bonuses to all four elemental magics. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a random bonus. I'm not going to save and reload this, but we use it. And there we go. Uh, Earth and Fire, two um, ice magics up. So yeah, this is a good book to have and use immediately. <laughs> Alright, another one of those walls that is opened is here. And this will give us three throwing hammers. Should we uh, be into that kind of thing? And another wall that has opened is just uh, oh, not here. Not here. Could have sworn there was another room. No. Okay, I think uh, in a previous version um, this also opened up with a chest of stuff, but I'm pr pretty sure that's been yeah, removed. Must be removed. Okay, um, stone puzzle one more time. Last stones, yes. Sorry, didn't click that. Let's get uh, rearmed. Notice that um get a red sort of screen effect when we uh, use the um, the knife. Not when there's no monster not in front of us. It sort of checks for that. So I have messed up. <laughs> okay, uh, we needed to keep that pressure plate uh, depressed over there. Uh, instead, we have not done that and not opened the pits. There's a key that we need. However, it does allow us to um, step through there. We could go back through that way, and that'll actually take us back through here to the spider area. Uh, a lot of these areas all end up leading back to that one point. Uh, on the map and which then you know brings us back out here to the beginning of the palace so it's kind of connected in a cycle sort of thing yeah, it gives us a knife um, food I was about to call Tabi the tea bag dear lord and a torch radio back this way and we need to redo that last stone throwing exercise
So keeping that plate depressed will keep, uh, we'll close these. We now have a gear key and also a secret button. Okay, faint shifting of stone to the north. So let's ditch that key there. Fall down a hole. And get ourselves teleported back upstairs. Alright. Uh, shifting of stone on stone. Uh, that gives us the, uh, it closes these two. And stone on stone to the south. So here we go. That's another area. Got some bombs. Which takes us back to this area here. Um, it's all a bit connecty, isn't it? Now we got that gear key and we can use that on our gear lock. This is the forking bridge walk, and you may be saying that um, after you fall down into the hole a couple of times. <coughs> Uh, we've got to level up here, uh, we've got four points. Uh, perhaps, 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 let's um, cure paralysis. I wouldn't mind picking up cure paralysis. Air magic, um, we really need uh, three points to staff defense. We really need a jack to staff defense up. I don't think we have any other, other spells that we can't learn with the other two skills yet. Alright, saved up. Now along this bridge walk, you need to follow the um, pattern you have in the last one, but it does split, okay? I'm going to keep going straight, there's a button on the right here, I need to press that. Oh no! <laughs> All right, um, we have have had another casualty. A chroma seems to be dying lots. Um, now we can press that. It's going to open this. I'm going to go for a light jog back to our save crystal. They're never too far away. It's not many of them, but they're never too far away. Get ourselves invisible this time. Um, okay, so we press that button. That's where um, the path diverges. Oh no! And um, clearly can't remember the the, the way. down here, I guess. Poison Quarrel. No, we're not going to bother keeping that. Uh, maybe that is all the spiders we have to deal with. Yep. Uh, milk reed. And there's a torch there if we 
need one. Alright, let's get this bridge walk done. I gotta say, it's probably... it's not an enjoyable puzzle. See, it's opened up that door uh, over in that corner opposite where we start. That's giving us an ornate key. We now have the two ornate keys we need to progress. And press this button to start the puzzle again. And then we wait. Um, oh yeah, there's those guys too. That's, uh, they're not so good. <coughs> Go invisible, you might bugger off. There's an area that's been opened up there. And that's given us access to two to more Death Stars. Now we press that button. It's going to open an area uh, close by choose to get myself invisible again. Okay. That will restart the um the pits. No, it is pretty hard to navigate this puzzle. We've got wyverns flying around. Right. And there's a sack there. bunch of herbs. Many different ones actually. Uh, willow thorn. Dewdrop root. Tarby. It's a good one to pick up. Still got a wyvern flying around up there. <coughs> oh dear lord. Not anymore. Okay. Go this way.
again. <coughs> Not picking up experience from that. Um, yeah, that's a problem. Um, one that I hadn't noticed, I guess some of the times um, it's connected to the attack that... Hey, where's that key that we had? And oh yeah, sometimes I guess it's connected to the amplification. Uh, and that's where it's going wrong. It's an easy fix. Where is that key? Well, um, and it was, that key was indeed, no, it was the ornate key. It's got nothing to do. Pretty certain I picked that key up. Oh, right. Hang on. No. It's closed. I haven't actually got that key. Okay, I'm the key down, and the key was available um, a lot earlier. Now I remember. <coughs> okay, I need to fall down um, that hole. Oh no, it's already covered up. We can go down this one instead. <coughs> All right. Now, um, when we dropped down uh, the pit opposite here, this opened up um, at this wall. Oh, damn. Where am I? Okay, just teleported there. Great. Oops. Um, I guess that's the way you can get through that teleport. If you want to make it through um, a shortcut through there, you can... T try and time that so you come down on top of the teleporter and then move off it immediately. Okay, that's fine. We are taken back here. We have the key that we need for that door. Sorry folks, I just totally lost my marbles. Um, <laughs> I swear I usually get that key a lot earlier and just sort of missed out on that. Um, okay, quick sleep. Alright. Visibility. So now we're also very angry. Alright, we 
still invisible. Just realized. Visible again. Come back. Oh, well, okay. It's a little bit inconvenient. Just let Slimy come back. Uh, now, fountain. It's another way to handle this fight effectively. gate with a chest. Now, pressing that button um, that was just in here, the first thing we did in this puzzle, uh, we dropped down, stepped onto that uh, square there, get teleported to this one, step forward, press a button up here. Now that will open this wall. And from this wall, teleport controls. Oh, actually, hang on, no. There we go. And we have to turn all teleporters off. Okay, so that gives us a bit more freedom in this puzzle. Also, secret button there, which will open for a chest. Okay, one more emerald gem. Good news. Amulet of Growth. Right. Nourish, when invoked, will materialize food for the party. Is that a fact? Savica. Mouse are free to materialize food. Right, there we go. That's okay. So we've got a wand that will make food for us. Uh, fantastic. And uh, in its empty form, it's actually better. Um, just drop the hint. But we'll, um, also gives us willpower and energy, which is always good. Now, um, another manual of endurance training. So we get that athletics up seven points. Start pumping some serious uh, bonuses into that guy. And scroll of resist magic. Prismic mage spell. We can learn that straight away. And that will raise all of our resistances up by um, 10 points. Okay. Uh, now that's all we want from that chest. Good chest to have. We'll get, we'll find. Raid, loot, pillage. Um, now, we probably do want our. Actually, do you know what? Get some water. That, I strongly believe, is it for this area. Uh, there are all the secrets there are to be had. Um, yep, that's kind of it. So, uh, experiencing a bit of uh, slowdown here. Uh, I think I might need to stop the video uh, very soon, because we might be running out of um, space. Um, if 
on videos. Okay. Anyway, um, yep, what we'll do is we'll pick it up. Um, this is pretty much the end of the palace. We'll pick it up next time and descend through to more of the dungeon area. Okay, thanks very much. Bye.